IELTS Speaking Test Part 2, let's look at three ways you can plan your answer. First, you can follow the bullet points. Imagine we get this topic in our test. We can choose to talk about Lady Gaga, and here's how we can plan our answer. Who she is, Lady Gaga. What her personality is like, an extrovert who is kind-hearted. How I know this person, from the MTV Music Awards. Why she's my favourite, her amazing lyrics. I'm going to describe my favourite singer Lady Gaga. She's been a popular songwriter and musical performer for the last decade. When it comes to her personality, she is the most extroverted person I know. She really loves performing in front of large crowds, and isn't shy to interact with her fans and the media back in the dressing room. I think this is her most defining characteristic. As well as this, a lot of people don't realize that she's heavily involved in charities especially for young children in developing countries. So, I'd also say she's one of the most kind-hearted celebrities that I know. Turning to how I first learned about her, I can remember it clearly, it was the MTV Music Awards and she came out dressed in clothing made out of meat. This shocked people all around the world and achieved her objective of bringing attention to cruelty to animals and in particular the issue of vivisection. You know, harming animals just for research purposes. Finally, regarding why she is my favorite performer, I would have to say it's because of the amazing lyrics she produces. She writes these herself and they are always so catchy and memorable. I really like the song Paparazzi and the way that it draws attention to the nefarious side of the media. Another great song of hers is Bad Romance. I think almost everybody has experienced one of these and so the song really resonates with her audience. Now, imagine we have this topic. Describe a home that you like to visit but do not want to live in. Let's have two reasons to like and two reasons to dislike. Let's make a plan following a like-dislike structure. Two reasons I like to visit there. To visit my family and to see the amazing views. I dislike to live there because of the inconvenient location and because it's run down. The place I'm gonna describe that I enjoy visiting but wouldn't want to live in is my grandfather's house, which is located in the southern island of New Zealand. I'm very keen on visiting it because I always enjoy seeing my grandparents who live in the house and also my cousins who live nearby. It's always great to catch up and have a chinwag about what's been going on in our lives. Another reason why I'm fond of going there is because of its coastal location. From the balcony I can have panoramic views of the ocean. It's also only a five minute stroll down to the ocean and as I am a big fan of snorkeling and swimming I'm always keen to have a vacation there. However, I must say that I would not want to live there for a couple of reasons. The main one is because I really can't stand being far from the city. You know it's just too inconvenient to catch a movie or do any kind of serious shopping for things like accessories for my computer. It's also quite far away from most of my friends and social network. Furthermore, the decoration is simply not my cup of tea. The main reason is because it's quite rundown and hasn't been redecorated in over a decade. Also, it's old-fashioned Victorian style with lofty ceilings which I'm really not into. Next topic. Describe a time when your computer broke down. A great way to structure your answer for this one is to tell a story. Try to plan three or four parts of your story. You can see mine. I start off by talking about having an urgent assignment. Then describe how my computer gets a virus. I then install an antivirus and then finally I finished my assignment on time. The time I'd like to describe to you is when my computer got a nasty virus. Well, I was working away on an urgent assignment that I had to turn in at the end of the weekend. I'd been putting this off for weeks, and finally I just had to get stuck in and get it done. I was working flat out, as I needed to write 10,000 words. 
Suddenly, my screen went black, and I started to freak out because I knew I'd got a virus. I had the dreaded black screen of death and I knew I was in trouble. Luckily, I have a friend who is a bit of a computer whiz and he came over with what he said was the best antivirus software available. I don't understand everything, but it seems he went into DOS and operated my computer from there to avoid the virus. It took a few hours for him to install the antivirus. Then, we had to run the antivirus software and cross our fingers that it would work and kill the virus. I felt over the moon when my computer was able to reboot normally and run Windows. That famous blue screen never looked so good. I got cracking on my assignment again and several hours later it was done, finished, 10,000 words. I was so relieved. To express my gratitude to my friend for killing the virus and also to celebrate finishing my assignment, I took my friend out for dinner, we ate steaks medium rare with all the garnishes and they tasted so good. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it so that that will help this video to rank better and enable people such as yourself to see this video. Uh, please subscribe to me if you'd like to get alerts uh, of my upcoming videos um, as, I, uh, as I produce them and as I upload them. Best of luck with your study in 2020.